Welcome back to MG Marine Tech. Now today on the channel, we are gonna be doing one of my favorite things, a screenshot breakdown. This screenshot breakdown comes from myself. I just got back from a fishing trip up in Northern Minnesota. We are targeting walleyes in shallow water. The screenshot is very, very simple, but I get asked a lot of times what fish look like on side imaging. While we we're out fishing, I uh, snapped a few screenshots for you guys to show you exactly what I'm looking for, especially when targeting walleyes in shallow water. Well, that's what we're gonna be covering today. Again, it's a super simple screenshot. If you guys have watched my stuff before, you'll be able to pick out the fish instantly. But I just wanted to give you guys another example of what you should be looking for when you're out on the water. And then also throw in some other tidbits and tips in there along the way with side imaging. Guys, before we dive into this screenshot, let's talk a little bit about why side imaging is your best friend, especially when it comes to shallow water fishing or targeting fish that are in shallow water. Basically breaks down to is that side imaging can cover a whole lot of water and you don't have to be directly over the fish. Now, what I mean by that is with your standard 2D and down imaging uh, types of sonar, they are shooting cones out of the transducer that start small and then get bigger as they travel through the water. Obviously, the further they travel or the deeper the water you are in, the bigger that cone is, the more area they will cover. So these types of sonar are great for scanning fish in deeper water, but they're not so great for scanning fish or for fish in shallow water because that cone gets much, much smaller and I'll try to find a picture for you guys and throw it up here uh, to further demonstrate my point. But that cone gets smaller in shallow water. The chances of actually scanning a fish go down greatly. And also, you have to think about it, you're a fish in you know 10 foot of water and a boat drives right over you, uh, you are probably going to get out of there. Um, so easily, much, much easier to spook fish. Now, side imaging, on the other hand, shoots beams out to the side. So with the new technology, we're able to shoot 170 foot on each side of the boat. Those fish have no idea you are even there and you don't have to drive directly over them. So shallow water, side imaging is your best friend. Your 2D and your down imaging may not show as much. There still is the chance of capturing fish in there. Now let's dive into today's screenshot. Guys, here's the screenshot we're gonna be breaking down today. This came off of Lake Winnipegosh up in northern Minnesota, a extremely popular walleye lake. And this time of year, guys are fishing the shallows. And this, again, is where that side imaging comes in and can become so crucial. This picture, picture was taken in roughly 10 foot of water. My range at the time was set at 70. I typically run it at 100, uh, but I dialed it back to 70 to get a little bit bigger picture, it makes the objects on the screen a little bit bigger. I will start off by saying that the settings were not 100 100% perfect. A little bit bright, I probably would have lowered the brightness a little bit to make things pop a little bit more and not wash out what was directly under the boat. Knowing that we were in shallow water and at the time I was fishing, not sitting there dialing in my unit all the time, um, it's going to do for today's screenshot breakdown. I thought it was a cool picture and thought it would prove the point to you guys. If you guys have watched the channel before or you know a little bit about side imaging, the schools of fish here should be extremely easy to see. There are two of them. I'll circle them for you guys. Uh, we've got one over here on the left, which is a fairly big school of a walleye and then a huge school of fish on the right. Now, if you are walleye fishing and you see this and you don't turn around and fish it, you are a fool because this is every walleye guy's dream when it comes to walleyes in the shallows. Going in a little bit further, again, if you guys haven't watched it before, I always tell people to look for the shadows. The shadows are what really give away fish marks. And if you were to take the shadows away from this picture and just have the actual fish marks, they would be nearly impossible to see. So again, that shadow is extremely crucial. It's what I'm looking for all the time because it's the quick dead giveaway. A lot of people say, that the fish mark is looks like a grain of rice, and that is true. And uh, we'll dive we'll dive right in here a little bit more. And there's a perfect example of that. There's three little rice marks here: one here, one here, and one here. These are the rice marks that guys are talking about to look for. But again, what the dead giveaway is is the shadow. Now there's some more information that we can take away from the shadows and the actual fish mark, and that will tell us where that fish is at in the water column. 
So the closer that the actual fish mark is to its shadow that it's casting, the closer that fish is to the bottom or the floor. And the opposite is also true. The further that fish mark is away from its shadow, or any object for that matter, the higher up in the water column that object or fish is. So from this picture, you guys can see that these fish are holding extremely tight to the bottom, and that is typical of walleyes in the fall and when you're fishing the shallows. Now there's some other information you can take away from this picture, um, and it's where these fish are kind of keying in on. So uh, for instance, what we have here in the center, um, actually I kind of, it's on both sides here, but kind of goes like this, and then same thing over here dips in and then it kind of goes away we can't really see what's going on right here the boat looks like it was turning at the time and things kind of get distorted but everything here in the center is a roughly uh, a sandy bottom a harder bottom and then on the left and on the right of these lines over here and over here this these areas right here are all weeds um, you know weeds that are like four or five six inches maybe they hold really tight to the bottom and you can clearly see that these fish are stacking up really tight to these edges of these weeds most likely going up and down them uh, scouring for food and forage so you can take that information where you see these fish and then use your side imaging further to find other areas on the lake that might potentially be holding these same style or same schools of fish or walleye or whatever you guys are looking for. Uh, like I said, this is a pretty simple screenshot breakdown. There's not a whole lot to look at here, but this is exactly what I am looking for on the water, especially when I'm targeting walleyes. Now, what can you do with this type of information? Well, again, you can find other areas that are just like this on the lake, or uh, you can hit that pause button or scroll back on your screen and show you guys how to do this. Put crosshairs on these pods of fish, drop a waypoint on them, circle back around, get up wind of them and cast out the back of the boat, put that spot lock on, cast out the back of the boat, and then do your magic, hopefully having a productive day on the water. All right guys, there you go. That is just another prime example of why side imaging is one of my favorite tools to use out on the water to find productive water. If you guys haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up if you like this style of content and then stay tuned for more tips and tricks on MG Marine Tech. Thank you.